What's up, YouTube? This is Bade here, and uh, yeah, last time uh, we left in the ultimate cliffhanger, where surprisingly enough, I get stuck between the walls, and um, I don't know if if this is like a common bug. So I guess if you have played through this hack yourself, have you got stuck between the walls like I just did? Uh, leave it. Leave a comment about that. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I guess if the uh, creator of the hack is still watching this, I know at least he watched some parts ago. Uh, you know, this might be something to uh, look into whenever you got the time, man. But uh, whatever, I don't really care. I can find my way through shenanigans like this since I have a wall hack right now. Blah. There we go. We go through the walls. We don't give a damn. Although now my Pokemon are kind of hurt. And I only got a limited amount of uh, max potions since I didn't stack enough on them. So what I should possibly do right now is just um, possibly roll over everything and uh, use some X items to kind of compensate for my stupidity of not buying enough potions when I still have like plenty of money. Can I go through you? No, I cannot. I cannot go through you. But remember me, Spade. You may have beaten me before, but that won't happen again. My dark type Pokemon have received the best training. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm coming for ya. What was your name again? Karen. That's right, I never would have remembered. Oh yeah, this is something to totally set up on. Oh yes, 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 yes. Unless he has toxic, of course. Oh, I got plenty of rollouts. I got plenty of defense curls. Ha <laughs> ha. Protect. It, yeah, this is what I was kind of afraid of, but I am still going to just, you know, set up on him. I do have a full heal, uh, but now I'm gonna be needing some X attacks, and I should probably get rid of that nasty toxic right now. Uh, do I have antidotes? I'd rather just use an antidote. I know I should have them somewhere here. Yup, and wait a minute, pick up the antidote, can you not? You cannot move them while you're in a battle, a apparently so. So we have to do this the hard way, I, I believe. So, uh, more X attacks, he's gonna use another toxic, I'm gonna use another this thing, and then I'm gonna use another antidote. Oh man. Ugh. And then I'm gonna... Um, I guess I just have to use a max potion. Yeah, there's really no way around it. And he's gonna... Thank you for missing. Then I could use some speed. And of course he's gonna do that. Uh, let's use another one. Now I am guaranteed to be faster than everything. And I should probably just use an antidote right now while the toxic isn't racking up too badly. And, uh, plus three. Let's go. Two it. Ah, oh, come on, that's gonna be nasty. I don't know how many Pokemon am, am I going to be able to take out. Alright, Gengar, at least I can take him out. Oop, there we go. Maybe a couple more. Yeah, maybe a couple more. There's Houndoom. There we go, then I should be able to clean up the rest of the guys with something else. And hey guys, this is Wild Plume, and boom, final rollout. And Wobbuffet, really? Uh, well, this guy is easy enough to deal with, um, well, since he cannot do anything. I could basically... Yes, I have, a, I have a plan here. Since I'm kind of low on those potions... Oh wait, he has Shadow Tag. That's horrible. I was kind of hoping to, you know, heal other guys too, but... Yeah, cannot do that. So, anyway, Xenon isn't really too bad of a matchup right here, so... Uh, there we go, let's get him paralyzed. And... Boom, start... Oh, now he's gonna use Safeguard. Well, that's just fine, that's fine, but this... Yeah, this is gonna take a life here. I was like, hey, I can heal my whole, whole entire team here, but wait. He has Shadow Tag. 
But yeah, still, this would have been annoying. And is this his last, her last Pokemon? Oh no! No, full restore. That's horrible, that's horrible. And while waiting here, I guess I could um, use Antidote on Dave. And then, what else should I do? Do I have any other kind of potions here? I don't remember at all. Most likely not. But, last, I, I got only two. Must use one on Dave. Yes. Well, this is gonna be actually a bit difficult. Yes, it will be. Let's use... Start mock punching. Wow, that still did a lot. Wow. Can't believe it. He has just so much HP. Too much, too much. Let me actually just use stun, stun spore. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be killing him anyways. Uh, pretty soon. Two more turns. Oh wait, well he has leftovers, so there's that. Mark punch once. Another full restore, really? Really, really. Now let me start. Oh wait, he. Okay, he has this freaking thing going on. Safeguard. Although I don't really care. I'm just gonna go, gonna keep using guys. He's using the counter. Although there we go. Now I can stun spore him. Let's let's. And of course that would miss. All right. Let me use uh, mark punch at least once. There we go. And it did a really good chunk to me. Once more and counter. All right. Now I'm gonna go ba back into my bag, and I'm gonna use this max potion on who? Who should I use it on? Miklachu could be good, Rich could be good, although against dragons he really won't be setting up, and Lance has Gyarados and Aerodactyl, so... Coal mining is kinda out of the question. While it's just good in d general, so I think I could also just use it on. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna use it on while. Alright, and we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how how all this is going to pan out in the end. Counter. Alright. And now I could paralyze him. Hopefully he doesn't. she doesn't use another one of those potions. And next turn, let's just stun spore, because. yeah. I want to remain at full health. There we go. And he still has, she still has Tyranitar. Well, that's at least easy. Uh, I wonder if Mach Punch will KO. Let's just go for Sky Uppercut. Because kind of figured that I would be faster anyway. So there we go. And a critical hit. Didn't matter. Four times super effective. And Xenon is going to level up. I gotta say, this is going to be a bit difficult. This is going to be a bit difficult challenge right here. The next challenge, which is Lance. He leads with Gyarados, I guess. Or he might have something different now. You've beaten me yet again, I like that. Go on, the champion is waiting. <laughs> and now the door at least opened. But uh, hopefully this will all turn out alright. I'm really hoping so. There we go. There's Lance, and I probably should have changed the first guy because I didn't remember that this would go like this. That I don't have time to do anything. Oh, I've been waiting for you. For your you to return here, Spade. I knew that you would want to face me again. I too would like a rematch. You are aware that if if you lose to me this time, then you will no longer be the champion? So without further ado, I lance the ex champion. Challenge you, the champion, <laughs> to a rematch. This is gonna be bad news bears. Oh man. I think it should be entertaining, entertaining enough. Um, all right, he does lead with Gyarados, and I got Dave. That's 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 kind of a horrible matchup right now. Uh, really should have changed Xenon here. Oh no, and now I can't even. <sighs> wow. Let's go into Hey Guys this while, and he goes for Hydro Pump. Hopefully he doesn't go for Taunt again, because Lead Seed. <sighs> Must get lead seed. At least there's no stealth rocks. He keeps predicting me to switch. What? <laughs> Lance, why you do this? And then Hydro Pump. Uh, this is not good at all. EQ, finally. Lead seed. Oh no, and he has DD. But his best move is EQ. 
So, not that bad. Not that bad. I would like to go into Mikulchu, then I could defense curl up. But he has the taunt, so that's kind of that's kind of the thing. Although, what I could do is use X X defense. In fact, that would be much better because it has priority. So let's go ahead and do that. And that does way too much, way too much. And yeah, I'm not gonna be able to live for too long here. I I just have to. Maybe I'll live. No, just no. Gyarados is too powerful. Um, this is already getting to be really scary. Uh, Wild really doesn't enjoy a plus two EQ either. So I'm already getting screwed up by this Gyarados right here. But he is seriously my best option right here. Um, maybe I should try to boost up Wild with X defenses. That might be a good idea, although the thing is, yeah, I don't have those potions. And I have so few of these X defenses too, so that is going to be a problem. And he keeps using more DDs, which is horrible. But I have to use another one, and he's gonna go for EQ, which is, I think it's like technically at plus one right now. If my calcs are right, but it isn't really doing too much. Um. I should probably... My best move... Is... Dragon Claw against this thing. And... It brings him down to a range where he can already use a potion, so... Or a full restore, whatever. But, basically... Nevertheless, I'm kinda screwed right here. I have to use another one, and he uses another DD. I'm just really hoping that he does not crit me. Because if that happens, then I'm kind of screwed. And now he uses Taunt. That's that's perfect. Perfect. I took down the first Pokemon. And uh, I'm kind of screwed already. And then there's d Knight. Okay, okay. I do have the Dragon Claw. And I do have those all those defense boosts. Although this guy most likely has Thunder. So that is going to screw me over like that. Crit, crit, crit! Oh, and Thunder hits and kills me off in one shot, and that is going to mean that I'm kind of screwed. Is he's most likely gonna use a potion? I mean that, or he doesn't, and that crits me. That is just perfect. Um, wait a minute. What was I going to do? This is this is horrible. I apparently don't have like any 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 other healing items here, so really should have stacked up a lot more. Because I had the money again, but I was just kind of like, oh, I'm not gonna need so many. Uh, but now I am. Now I would need more, plenty more. I guess I just really have to try to take him out here and. Ooh, there we go, Dragonite at least goes down, but he has a Kingdra, which is going to Ice Beam and one-shot me. And that's that's pretty horrible that he has the Ice Beam. Um, because Xenon would have been good. I still have some revives, which I can use. I kind of have to just go into Xenon, hopefully get off the lead seed, and he actually goes for Toxic. Uh, alright. That's, that's cool. I have to use some revives. I need to. But, to who? I think Wild would be just the best guy, because he can take some hits from the Kingdra. And now that guy has Swift Swim going on, and I should probably switch out here. Since Toxic isn't racking up too much, and Wild can take his hits, although I don't know his last move. But I'm sure we will find out soon enough. He has Rain Dance, Ice Beam. Uh, did we see... what's his Water Stab? Like, does he have Surf or something? Well, anyways, I got the uh, Dragon Claw. Let, yeah, he has also Toxic, but what, what is the last move? That's what I'm kind of worried about. Alright, and I'm kind of thinking he's gonna use... I'm gonna use Antidote right here. I'm gonna use Antidote on while, and he's gonna use a full Restore, of course. But the nice thing is that I'm still, like, 
healing health from his uh, from the lead seed that I got on him. And uh, I'm just gonna use another antidote on the next turn so that I'll be... Actually, the thing is I'm really screwed against this Kingdra. So I should probably use like an attack boost, X attack. Alright. And I got like maybe a couple turns. So let me use X attack. He actually uses Surf. That's good. That's good. Alright. Uh, I should probably just try to kill this guy off, but then, then again I need more attack. I absolutely need it. And he keeps using Surf. That, that's perfect. Is he going to live for one more turn? Yes, he is. Um, speed could be something that I could use against Aerodactyl. Especially if he like crits me or something. So, there we go. I got plus two attack, plus one speed, and I think we are ready to go here. Ready to go after all, although this was looking really horrible. And he has a Flygon. Against Flygon I can use speed too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, definitely. Uh, let's just use the Dragon Claw, because still not really sure if the rain effects actually apply in this game, because, or in this hack, because it's kind of weird. You've seen that in the past, so plus two Dragon Claw will take out the Flygon, almost level up, would have been nice. But anyways, he has the Charizard, so we can go for the Waterfall pretty safely here. That should easily take it out, and he most likely has one more Dragonite. Although this time he might actually have something different, but uh, we're gonna find out just in a sec. Level 69 Charizard going down, and we are going to level up to level 68, the ultimate teaser. The ultimate teaser. Alright, and he has immense. Okay, and he has Intimidate. That's kind of bad, but I don't think he can one-shot me. So on that aspect, it's fine. And I still got plus one, so not exactly sure if this will take him out. Kind of hoping that it would, but uh, we're gonna find out. Ooh, he lives with his midgen. And he goes for his own Dragon Claw. Come on, Wild, you can live this easy, easy. There we go. There we go. Took that like a champ, since I am the champ, and he's gonna use a full restore. Alright, lands, we've been through this, there we go. Quit stalling, quit stalling. And I think I could... I'm gonna finish him off with a beautiful slash. A beautiful slash, and another full restore. Well, it's fine. At least now he won't be using another one. I can finish him off with the uh, Dragon Claw. He was planning to stall out my Dragon Claws here. That was his plan all along. But I beat him still. Alright. Dragon Claw. I still call, got four of them. But now he's not in the range where he's gonna be using a potion. So possibly should have just done that in the first place. But whatever. Took him out so it's fine. It's fine. And we beat the Elite Four and the champion lanes. Who is no longer a champion. But still he was a tough guy. Especially since I didn't have my potions. But I think it was for the better. It was for the entertainment. You know, I think it made things a bit interesting when I actually had to think a bit of what I should do instead of just, you know, rolling over everything, so... Yeah, it was good times, I, I do believe. Possibly better than the first time. It was kind of like, yeah, rolling out over everything. Well done, Spade. You truly have come very far. You have completed your journey to becoming the world's greatest Pokemon master. Or have you? Have I? Spade, come with me to the re uh, to register your Pokemon once again into the Hall of Fame. Two-time Hall of Fame champion, two-time world champion. Yeah, I got it all, man. It's been a long time since I last came here. Yeah, I guess... Which episode was it? Somewhere around 50, 60, maybe? Uh, I don't remember where we took champion, but uh, this is probably like episode... I'm not even going to... I guess I could make a guess. 93? Possibly? Who knows? This is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokémon are also inducted here. Today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokémans. A trainer who succeeded through Perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. 
We should probably change this text because it's I think it's pretty much the same thing he said the last time. Because we are already the champion and at the beginning he was saying he was the ex-champion, but uh, whatever, who, who cares, it's kind of irrelevant, but you know, I'm just nitpicking at this time, but yeah. People nitpick at me, so then that is contagious and then I get nit nitpicky also. Saving Dave the Dunfan. Fairviolagator, and we got good old Xenon, and Fizzy Stardust Airlines, and Miklachu Snorlax. Didn't get to do much of rollouting, or and Rich didn't get to do too much calm minding, but uh, oh well, in the end, it went all fine. And that is my Hall of Fame team that I am so proud of. A great team indeed. League Champion, congratulations! And then we got the ending. Credits with Zelda music again, I do believe. And whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's speed this up. But uh, I guess the uh, next thing that we are going to do. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna speed up. Speed this part up because it's the same thing that we already saw. But uh, basically, next time we could head over. Was that Mount Silver right there? We could head. Anyways, we are gonna be heading to Mount. Silver, so since uh, that is like the only place that we have not been to yet in Kanto or Johto, it's kind of in the middle of the two two regions, but that is where we are going to be heading next, because it's kind of like the next natural step to do, since we have beaten to Pokemon League twice, we got all the gym badges, although I think there are, there's like one more to do at the Valencia Island, but I'm going to save that for last, so um, yeah, there's that. Anyways, where are we going to be starting here? Alright, switch the Pokemon to Diablos as well. Yeah, did that. Went through a wall. Alright. Alright. Yes, we took down the settlements and was good signs. And saved at this location. Alright. Alright, well, the Valencia Island would be there, but. Um, let me actually look at the. Where's the town map? Is there anything, anything interesting? Map card. Whatever. Alright, so that is where the Mount Silver, Silver Cave, whatever place is. But we have to go to Kanto again. But somewhere over there, well, I cannot go to the right since we are at Johto. But there's the Valencia Island. I'm not really sure how to even get there. But uh, yeah, next time when we come back, we are going to head over to uh, Mount Silver and find Red. And after that, we're going to check out the new place. Because I do believe that this is where the uh, the Valencia Island is where the because uh, this this game is still in beta, so that is where the uh, the hack is basically going to end. But uh, so I feel like that is that would be the best thing to do last. And also I have no idea what's going on there. So uh, yeah, figured that would be good times. But uh, Mount Silver will be next time. I'm gonna stop rambling. And uh, until then, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.